Hi everyone. We're going to do uh, four or five word problems. And basically what we're looking for is time, the T part of the formula. And I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with the formulas uh, using this one here that we've been already going over. And so these are more advanced and we're going to take uh, the natural log of both sides to find t. So we have two parts. We have to, we want to know what it would be compounded monthly, how long that would be, and if it's compounded continuously, how, how long that would be. So for the first one, we'd, uh, she wants to have the final amount to be 150, and initial amount is 100, our interest rate is 0 0.08, and it's compounded monthly. So this is 12, and we're looking for the T. So we're going to get, um, I'm going to cancel out, divide um, both sides by 100, and you get 1.5 equals, and I'm going to go ahead and use the calculator for this. I get 1.006666. Times 12 to the T. <coughs> now I'm going to take ln of both sides. So I can use my power property and pull this in front. Well, 12T goes there. So I'm going to pull it in front and I get ln 1.5 equals 12t ln of 1.0067. Now to solve for t, I'm going to divide um, everything by um, these two, leave t by itself. So you get t equals ln of 1.5 divided by the 12 and then ln of 1.00 six 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 seven should have put that there too all right and then use your calculator and you get approximately five point zero nine years or that would be about uh, sixty one point zero two months just multiply this by twelve all right, now we need continuous, so we're going to use the A equals PE to the RT, and we get 150 equals 100 E to the 0 0.08T. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 100, so you get 1.5 equals E to the 0 0.08T. And I'm going to use my formula, just take ln of both sides. You're going to get ln 1.5 equals 0 0.08t. And then just divide by 0 0.8 or 0 0.08. So you get t equals ln 1.5 over 0 0.08, which is approximately... Uh, 5.07. So compound it continuously, it will take uh, 5.07 years, or this would be about um, 60.82 months. I just multiplied that by 12. Okay, the next one we have Amy investing $100 at $10. Um, compound it monthly and we want to see how long it takes before she has um, 175 and then the other way we're going to do continuous compounding so basically we're going to do the same thing we have 175 equals 100 times 1 .0 0.0.10 over 12 to the 12 T and if you divide both sides by 100, you get 
equals 1.00833s to the 12t. Take ln of both sides. I'm going to bring this in front. So this is going to equal uh, 12t times ln of 1.008333. And then solve for t, basically just going to divide this side by that. So t will be left alone. So you have t equals ln 1.75 over 12 ln of 1.008333. And this gives you approximately 5.62. So that's compounded monthly, which is also about 67.43 months. And this is years. And now we're going to do continuous. So we do the same thing. But that's with E to the 12T. So you get 1.75 equals e to the 12t. You take your natural log and then solve for t. So t equals ln 1.75 over 12, which is approximately 5.60 years. Multiply that by 12, that would be about 67.15 months. Okay, here's another one. <coughs> Same thing, we're going to have initial investment of a 10,000, and we want it to grow to 25,000. How long will it take? Okay. Okay, so basically, this one we're going to write, um, this is just one side, they just want continuous, so if 25,000 equals 10,000, e to the 0 0.06, that's your interest rate, t, take ln of both sides, well you can um, reduce this, let's reduce this first. So you uh, divide both sides by 10,000, and you get 2.5 equals e to the 0 0.0, oops, 60. Take ln of both sides. So that's just going to give you 0 0.06t. Divide both sides by 0. 06, and that gives you your T, so that's going to be uh, approximately 15.27 years. Multiply that by 12, and that would be uh, 15 years and 4 months. Okay, and another one, we have um, 25,000, and we want it to grow to 80,000, and it's compounded continuously, so we're going to use the A equals P, the continuous, uh, continuously compounded formula. So the final amount we want to be 80,000, our principal amount is 25,000. Our rate is 0 0.07 times t. We're looking for t. Divide both sides by 25,000, and you get 3.2 equals e to 0 0.07t. Take ln of both sides. And then divide by the rate, interest rate. And this gives you uh, 
16.62 years approximately or uh, that would be like 16 years and eight months okay that's all thank you have a very nice day bye bye